Yeah, we're about to have an, an accident. My car. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shimizu here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Scrap Mechanic. Now this game has been out for a while. It came out earlier in 2016. I personally haven't played it until now, but I am loving it. It is so much fun. And from what I understand, I think survival is coming. Uh, so you guys may know a lot about the game. I honestly really didn't know a whole lot about it at all. I want to give a big thank you to my friend Frodo for telling me about it. He was like, yo, you got to check out this game called Scrap Mechanic. It's really, really cool. And it's sort of like Minecraft or whatever, but it's different. Uh, it's a farming simulator. As you can see here, there's all these crops. So you can do a lot of farming and stuff. Just kidding, I actually don't know. Uh, I'm just standing here in this farm. I thought it'd be an interesting place to start the video. But no, this is, uh, this, I almost, I almost said farming simulator. This is Scrap Mechanic, and guys, what this video today is gonna be is just an overview. I'm gonna be doing more videos on this game. I have played it for a couple hours. I understand the basics of the game so far, and I want to build stuff so badly. So there will be, I wanna build a world. I wanna, I wanna do videos where I build things um, and so I would love for you guys to, to watch. So if you're new to this video and you're interested in seeing something like this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell near the subscribe button as well. I don't know, man, YouTube's messed up right now and that hitting that bell is the best way to get alerted for when I upload a new video. So what is Scrap Mechanic? Well, right now it is just a creative game. Uh, you can start up whatever world you want. So you can do a flat world or a world with terrain. It's gorgeous, by the way. It looks amazing. But right now, it's just in creative mode. Uh, you press I to open your inventory, and you have access to all the different blocks that are currently in the game. Um, you, it comes with a, you know, you start with a handbook or whatever, and the handbook, um, you know, tells you, base, it's basically like a Lego book. It's like a tutorial, right? You go to like the second tab here, it tells you how to build a vehicle. It tells you exactly how to build it. It's got like, you know, you need two of these, a bunch of these. It's really fun. I had a blast like learning how to build stuff uh, earlier today when I learned this game and tried to figure out the basics by myself. It talks about bearing, lifts, uh, connecting, the connection tool, the driver's seat, gas engines, thrusters, triggers, controllers, logic gates. So this game is very detailed when it comes to doing mechanics and things like that. A lot of which is over my head, but is, you know, definitely stuff that I would like to learn. So, um, you know, I, I did end up making sort of the basic thing that was here in the tutorial. Uh, making the um, XOR gate or whatever. I don't know. It's really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. So right now, like I said, the game is just completely basic and you can basically take whatever block, blocks that you want and you can just start to build stuff, right? Like you can, you can just build this, you can erase this. Um, you use Q to uh, essentially flip the orientation of certain things. Um, so if I want to say take these stone blocks and I want to build upwards I can do that or I can press Q and I can rotate it so that if I want to build outward and drag outward I can do that as well and you can place individual blocks also and you can remove blocks individually and stuff like that but um, yeah using the Q button is definitely uh, definitely helps you out um, in terms of rotating this cursor and that applies for all different things um, that will apply to you know if you're placing say um, uh, let's see, I don't know, a metal support down, right? You can flip this metal support around and orient, orient it the way that you want so that you can place it or whatever. Um, so right now it's just kind of like a building game, a mechanic based game. Now I'll show you guys what I've built so you can kind of get an idea of sort of what's possible with this game. Because like I said, this is sort of my, just an overview video that I wanted to do for you guys to introduce my audience. If you've never seen this game before, I wanted to introduce you to this game. If you have seen this video before, then hopefully you'll subscribe and stick around if you wanna see more, because I think this game has a lot of potential and when survival mode does come out, I think it's gonna be really, 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 really cool. So what can you do? Well, you can do some, some advanced things, but you can also do some simple things. I went ahead and made a garage. So we have a button here. This button opens this door and voila! Welcome you guys to my scrap mechanic garage. Got a little radio playing and close the door from the other side as well. And this is a vehicle that I custom built today. Uh, the first vehicle that I made, yours may look a little bit different if you do it, but the first vehicle that I made was just the basic one from the tutorial book, as you can see here. 
looks pretty similar. I didn't make it as wide as the one in the in the book, but you know, that's what that looked like. And I was like, you know what? I want a vehicle that I'm gonna travel these lands in and go exploring and just see what this world looks like. Cause I don't think we can like harvest anything yet, but I wanted to see sort of what this world looks like. Now you might notice this shelf right here. Look at this. It looks just like the shelf I built in my house. I hand built that by the way. I'll talk about that later when I do my room, my office tour, which is coming by the way, someday soon. But anyways, I recreated that in this game, which is kind of awesome. And you can just kind of place objects around. The windows are a little bit tricky. We've got an AC unit over here, a sink, a fuse box, and you can color everything as well. So the pipes obviously that you see here are white, whereas the pipes here are just the normal silver color. If I wanted to change the color of this boot, all I'd have to do is come over here and grab the paint tool. You can put it in any slot that you want. It doesn't really matter. Change color, you press Q. You can pick any color that you want. I wanted to make this boot a little blue or something like that. I can do that. I can leave it like that as long as I want. And if I want to erase that color, all I have to do is right click it with the painter. Say maybe I wanted to make it a pink boot, all right? Maybe I didn't like that color pink. Maybe I want to go lighter pink. So there you go. That's kind of how you paint stuff. It's really, really cool. You can do patterns and designs. Um, you, know, you can make a pink crate. You can really color, you can color anything that you want. So, uh, why is my Twitch alerts going off? I thought I'm recording this with OBS and I hear my Twitch alerts going off right now. That is super weird. Why is that happening? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> to investigate that, that was bizarre. I don't know if you guys heard that Shazam from Tyrone Bingham's, but I do stream a lot. So if you guys want to check me out on Twitch, uh, link would be down below. All right. So, let's go ride around. I just kind of wanted to build this for you guys and show you what this was all about. Now, this was a car I built. Now, in terms of wiring and stuff like that, things are pretty fun. Uh, the wiring is as such. We've got the engine here that powers the wheels. Okay, it's hooked up to the wheels. The steering column is powered by the engine as well. They're connected here. And the steering column also dictates the rotations of these tires through these little rotors right here. So, this is my vehicle. I'm gonna call this the Rover 2 for now, because the Rover 1 was my first car, which I built over there. And uh, let's get out of here, shall we? Let's go, baby, let's go exploring. Now, this car very well might flip over. It's not very stable. I tried to make a roll cage on it, but it didn't really work out. If it ever flips over, you can literally just pick it up with the lift Place it down, and you can get back in it. Now, this car usually was pretty stable. I tested it earlier today. Uh, you can actually make cars with suspensions, uh, which I think is really cool. And I will be doing that in an upcoming video. We'll make a car. I'll show you guys how to make a car with some off-road suspensions and stuff. I may upgrade this car to that as well. But for right now, um, you know, I wanted to just kind of keep this guy sort of basic. They are a bit hard to drive, as you can see here. I think having an off-road suspension might make things a little bit easier. But I bet if I was driving on a flat surface, this would be much, much nicer, much, much nicer riding experience as well. Um, you can zoom in and out by holding Alt and zooming your mouse, you know, in and out or whatever. But I kind of want to just use this video, like I said, to just kind of explore the world a little bit and show you guys kind of what this game has to offer and how sort of like gorgeous it is, man. It looks really, really cool. Um, I'm brand new to this game, like I said, but we'll be doing a lot, learning a lot, all that sorts of things. Um, and I'm very excited to learn and sort of see what they've got coming up in the way of survival mode because that interests me greatly. And we're about to have an accident. Yeah, we're about to have an, an accident. My car, my poor car, it's just, it's not going to make it, man. We're not doing too great. All right, let's get, let's get a move on. I do like the look of it, though. It's a nice little buggy. Uh, <laughs> it kind of drifts around a bit though, but steering seems to be a bit hard. Maybe it looks like the wheels can't turn a whole lot. Maybe that's due to, uh, sort of how I have the car laid out. So I'll have to mess with some of that later, but I do want to get on top of this path. It looks like, it looks like there's a specific sort of path here that I, feels drivable. And if I fall off this cliff again, I, I don't know, man, that would have been a real chimney swift moment right there. Apparently, yeah, turning is not ideal in this little buggy. It just doesn't, it doesn't like to turn. It doesn't like to turn at all, man. All right, let's see if we can get up this the top of this. Uh oh, we faced ourselves the wrong way. Bad idea. We'll just back it up. Just back it up, baby. 
Just back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, cool. Alright. This is awesome. This is really cool. Like, I... This game is... It, it has impressed me for sure. Let's get out on foot. I want to I wanna explore a little bit on foot. See what this... See what this great land, this world that I spawned in, kind of looks like, right? Um, maybe I can't get up that hill. Maybe that's too steep. Let's just stand over here. So as you can see, my little base is over there. That I've started. And what's really exciting about sort of the upcoming videos and stuff that I would like to do for you guys if you're interested. For sure is to just sort of... You know, build in this world, man. Like, let's build... Oh, yeah! Let's build some awesome stuff. Like, let's build some awesome bases and houses and stuff like that. That is my goal. Whoa! I'm assuming, you know... Even though I was joking at the beginning of this video that it was a farming simulator. I'm assuming, based on the crops that are here, that you might actually be able to do some farming in this game. Which would be kind of cool. You guys know I like to farm in games and stuff. I think that's a lot of fun. But guys, that's going to do it for this intro video here on Scrap Mechanic. Apparently, I can't park my car very well into my garage. I'm going to need to fine-tune this car a little bit more. I thought we were all set, but apparently I was wrong. And I like saying apparently. You know who only likes saying apparently more than me? The Apparently Kid. If you've never looked up the Apparently Kid online, you should. He's hilarious. Anyways, I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, you know, there's a lot more to come with this game. It's got a lot of potential. You know, making cool structures like this like to fill in this this area a little bit sort of build um, some really cool looking looking things bring you guys along on my adventures with me but guys thank you so much for watching like I said I hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see some more be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the bell next to subscribe as well so you're alerted every time I upload and yeah leave a like if you enjoyed the video and guys thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time peace